Welcome to Living in New Hampshire with Freddie and Freddie. No, with Karina and Freddie. Karina and Freddie. Today's episode, the 14 things you need to know before moving to Laconia, New Hampshire, coming up. My name is Karina Cisneros, Associate Broker, and this is my son, Freddy, Realtor and Managing Partner of the Cisneros Realty Group. Welcome. We cover the beautiful New Hampshire Lakes Region and mountains surrounding Lake Winnipesaukee. We are Lakes Region experts with a proven track record of success. We have represented over 600 families over the last seven years. Whether you're looking to buy or sell in the Lakes Region, or looking to buy that perfect lake home or condominium, look no further. Karina and I are here to advise, counsel, and assist you. On this channel, we'll show you everything there is to know about the lakes region by boat, plane, or any other means of transportation. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our future videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. So let's get started with the 12 things you no, should know. No, 14. Okay, 14. <laughs> Things you should know before moving to Laconia, New Hampshire. That's right, 14. I don't know what those extra two are. Well, we're gonna find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. But before we start, Freddie, give us some quick facts about Laconia. So Laconia is located northwest of the geographic center of Belknap County. The city lies at the center of New Hampshire's lakes region and all or part of four major bodies of water lie within its limits. That's right, four lakes. Lake Winnipesaukee, Lake Winnesquam, Opeechee Bay, Pogus Bay, sometimes counted as an arm of Lake Winnipesaukee, but historically a separate body of water. See, I told you that. People say, no, I am gonna buy on Lake Winnipesaukee when they're buying on Pogus Bay. Eh. Pogus Bay is like a separate body of water, although some people think it's Winnipesaukee. It is Winnipesaukee. Well, that's we're for debate. Have, we can have a whole video. All right. Just about whether we're going to have Bay, a whole video about that. If Pogus Bay is, is, we can interview different people and find out what's people's opinion. Good idea. So in no particular order, here are the 14 things you need to know before moving to Laconia, Fred. Numero uno. Numero one. Oh no, Laconia has three main villages. Downtown Laconia, where Belknap County Courthouse is located, can be found on the southern tip of the city, along the Winnipesaukee River between Opeechee Bay and north, and Lake to Winnesquam southwest. So, before we go to the next two, downtown Laconia is a little downtown, yes. lots of little restaurants, right? Good Shops, walking area. Excellent walking area. Yes, there's a bike, bicycle store there. There's a Belknap Mill. Yes. You and can uh, ride a bike along the Winnipesaukee River and the Wild Trail goes to Laconia. Yes. Uh, and, you know, just overall a great place to go on an evening stroll or afternoon stroll with a family. Or And they just opened up the, uh, the Colonial Theater. The Colonial Theater. Okay, good. Okay, the second uh, neighborhood area of uh, uh, Laconia is, of course, Lakeport located between Opeechee Bay and Pagas Bay, not part of Lake Winnipesaukee and is near the geographic center of the city. Okay, fair game. Fair game, huh? Yeah. Okay, and that's where the Opera House is. They just opened it up. Yes, and... Uh, Wayfair Coffee Shop. Weir's Beach, uh, around the channel, connecting Pogus Bay with Lake Winnipesaukee, lies at the northern edge of the city. So, to get to Lake Winnipesaukee from Pogus Bay, you go underneath the Weir's Bridge. And that's why some people say, oh, I live on Lake Winnipesaukee but they actually live on Pockets Bay. All right, a little bit of demographics. Uh, real estate taxes, the highest of the eight towns around the lake at 19.72 per thousand, okay? It's in Belknap County. Population is about 16,500. The median age is roughly 45 years old. Per capita income uh, is about $33,000 a year. The Laconia School District has a elementary, middle, and high school. That's right. There's a Lakes Region General Hospital, which was just acquired by Concord Hospital. Yes. And it's a, it's a damn good place. It's a good place, right? The nearest ski area is Gonstock. Gonstock is in, in Guilford. It, it's like in our bloods. It's everywhere. Yes. And no matter how you talk about the Lakes Region, oh, there's always a Gonstock Mountain Resort somewhere. So, Freddie, tell us about golf in Laconia. 
So the Laconia Country Club, it's an 18 hole uh, course established in 1922. It's is that where private. I beat, is that where I beat the hell out of you? No, that definitely never happened. <laughs> uh, it's a private <laughs> member owned club offering uh, social activities, uh, casually refined dining and golf experiences in an atmosphere where individuals and families can feel comfortable, appreciated and most importantly, welcome. Then there's also Mystic Meadows nearby where South Down Shores is it's a par three golf and disc golf course. And it's open seven days a week from sunup to sundown. And one of the best things about this place, guys, it's the first golf course that I ever knew that is actually pet friendly. And well-behaved dogs are allowed on the golf course. Did wow. you know that? Yes, and they asked you to please clean up after your dog. You did not know that. I did know that. No, you did not. So clean up after your dog. Uh, don't let them on the greens. Uh, have your dogs under control and have fun. All right, moving on, marinas. The marinas in Laconia, you have a fair choice of them. There's Lakeport Landing, Irwin Marine, Pogus Bay Marina, Spinnaker Cove Marina, Winnisquam Marine at Lake Winnipesaukee, and North Water Marine. Which used to be Thurston's Marine, yes. or Marina, and it was sold to some new owners. Fifth on our list is uh, boat launching. There are three boat launches in Laconia. There's one on Lake Winnesquam on Water Street. There's one on Lake Opeechee on Messer Street. And of course, uh, there's uh, the Weir's Beach Public Docks. So let's talk about some home prices in Laconia. For MLS records, there were a total of 247 single family homes and 191 condominiums that changed hands in Laconia over the last 12 months for a total of 438 properties in addition to another 58 multifamily homes that also changed hands over the last 12 months. Most of the condominiums around the lake are in Laconia so that's why it's high here and also most of the multifamily homes are, are also in the Laconia area. All right so let's talk about some of the average prices. Of all those uh, homes uh, 17 were waterfront Fred Yes. Uh, and 60 were non-waterfront homes and the others having some kind of shared waterfront, okay? So the median waterfront home sold in Laconia was about a million one fifty. Which is about half of what it was in Guilford. That's right. So yes, it's about half of what it was in Guilford. But again, it's skewed. The Guilford number is skewed because of Governor's Island, okay? The average waterfront or shared water access condo sold for about $451,000. The average non-waterfront home in the last 12 months so sold for about $358,000. And the average um, non-waterfront condo, uh, very reasonable, uh, sold at $250,000. So Karina, what does all this mean? Well, basically in my opinion, uh, all this makes Laconia one of the most desirable places to live in the lakes region. Due to its reasonable pricing compared to other towns around the lake, it's also super, super centrally located around the lake, but, there's a caveat. The Achilles. The Achilles is that it has uh, 19 point something per thousand real, uh, real estate property taxes. Yes, which is uh, almost three times as much as uh, Multiboro. Uh, Multiboro is at seven, so that would be 21. Yeah, you're right, Fred. Good. You learned math in school, Freddie. <laughs> okay, let's go to number seven. Oh, restaurants. So, uh, yes. Okay, of course. We love O's, O's Steakhouse, right? O's Steaks and Seafood, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite dish there? Uh, they have really good crab cakes, uh, really good steak, uh, anything is okay. pretty good there. What else do we like? Uh, uh, you like Fratello's? I like Fratello's because I like Italian, but I can't do Italian because I'm on a very strict diet. Local eatery. Ah, oh, local. Burrito me. What's good about local? Uh, fresh ingredients, uh, the menu changes. Farm to table. Yes, the menu changes every roughly every two weeks. So and then yeah, and then there's the T-Bones. T-Bones, uh, chain restaurant, everything is made, uh, homemade. So it's, you know, pretty good. There's a few different options, a few diners. Uh, there's this uh, Thai place. Water Street Cafe. Water Street Cafe, Ted Roy's the owner, good friend. You know, I think Laconia has- a Oh, Annie's Cafe. And it's a, a well, oh, and well I have, versed And I have to mention selection. John's Roast Beef. That's actually technically in Guilford, Well, okay, I'm cheating. 
It's technically in Guilford, but it's on the we'll line. We'll call it the Laconia Guilford line. Okay, that's good. We'll compromise. But uh, uh, what else would we like favorite? You know, uh, I think. Uh, that's, it. that's pretty much it, right? Our yeah, well, there's places? a local McDonald's, Wendy's. Well, uh, I can't uh, do that Subway. anymore. No, the Domino's Pizza. I mean, all the yeah. classic chain. All right. You know, just just the okay. Few. Number eight, in terms of hospital care, of course. The Lakes Region General Hospital. Yes, the Lakes Region General Hospital, uh, which is recently acquired by Concord Hospital. That's right. Uh, so number nine is um, schools, right? So we talked about that. There's a Laconia High School. Yes. Laconia Middle School, Elm Street uh, School, Pleasant Street School, Holy Trinity Catholic School, among others. And there are also four uh, well-known boarding private schools around the lake. The first one being the Tilton School, where else but in Tilton. The New Hampton School, of course, where else but in New Hampton. Brewster Academy. In Wolfboro. Yes. And um, Holderness Academy in? In Holderness. Holderness, right? Yes. How original. And of course, not too far away is St. Paul School in Concord. Yes, St. Paul. And there's a few other boarding schools in the right. New Hampshire area as well. All right. Uh, there's also, of course, a Lake Street Community College in Belmont. Yes. Right? It's not Laconia. It's next to Laconia, right? Uh, grocery stores in Laconia would be number 10. There is the Vista Foods over at uh, Main Street. Uh, there is J Mart, a Filipino Asian food store, which I didn't know. I didn't know either, I'm just finding out. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sunflower Natural Foods, which is a good yes, place. Yes, that's a good place. And I guess a few others, there's of course Hannaford, but that's in Guilford. Well, Guilford Laconia line. That's right. And the Shaw's as well, also in the Guilford Laconia line. Laconia's that got everything. And Laconia and Guilford next to each other. I mean, there's a lot of a symbio- a lot of cross-pollination. cross pollination cross-pollination. If you live in Laconia, you're gonna end up in Guilford a lot. If you live in Guilford, you're gonna end up in Laconia a lot. That's right. The two towns. They should just marry each other. Yes, they work right, right? together. They should just become one. Uh, you know, if there's any emergency, uh, they uh, let, let each other fire the The only services. thing that is, if you live in Guilford, you pay less taxes. I'll tell you a fact that you probably didn't know. What? So Guilford does not have a post office. They run through the Laconia post office. What? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, so maybe uh, they, they should just like, marry each other so that the, the real estate taxes can even out between the two. Like if you ask the post office to like hold your mail, it's at the Laconia office. Really no, interesting. Like, you know, Belmont has- a That's Belmont. a pretty bold fact, Fred. Well, it's not bold because it's a fact. <laughs> okay. So number 11, Laconia Beaches. My favorite one, the one that hardly anybody knows about- Oh, but don't tell them. It's, I didn't tell anybody. Okay. So <laughs> Bond Beach on Opeachy. That's right, hardly anybody goes there, but don't tell anybody. Well, until now. Green until now, okay. Everybody going there now. All right, Bartley Beach on one is Quam, not that great, but it's there. No, but it's a good one. It's no. Weir's Beach, uh, great fun for all the family. I think a park beach or a rock park, beautiful area. Uh, Opeachy Park. There is a uh, Bobotas Park. Yes, Levitt Park. Memorial, Memorial park. park. Yes. Robbie Mills Sports Complex. Hardest Park. Yes, and the Weir's Community Park. All great parks. Uh, among know, others. Among others. So number 12, we cannot live without this and everybody needs it. Can you guess what it is, Freddy? What would it be? Come on, Fred. Internet, hello. Cable and internet That's service. That's right, there are four providers. There's Atlantic Broadband, Fur Point Communications, Dish Network, and of course, the omnipresent DirecTV. And we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored, right. So Karina, at number 13, what are other tidbits of Laconia? Uh, Laconia has trash pickup, curbside. Uh, residents and businesses must recycle. Single family dwellings or duplex single family units can place two 32 containers weekly. You sure about that, Karina? Uh, it's a bold fact. Okay, recyclables <laughs> are collected every other week. Did you That's know that? Yeah, I did know that. Uh, beach stickers required for some Laconia beaches. Yes. Uh, Not the weirs. But Bond Beach, yes. Yes. Uh, the Laconia Municipal Recreation Programs are made available at the Laconia Community Center uh, and a system of 20 parks, playgrounds, and beaches. Very impressive. This facility is vary in size from less than one acre to as much as 34 acres in diversity from parks to multi-use facilities. And I guess this is one reason why Laconia has 
one of the highest uh, property tax rates because yes. it offers so much. Yes, and they do have a lot of infrastructure to maintain and when it snows, there's a lot to plow and so forth. So to wrap it up, number 14, some of the fun things that we like to do, okay, once in a while. The Laconia Antique Center. Uh, I don't like to do that. I'm kidding. I do like to do that. Okay. Weir's Beach is always omnipresent. Harry Hearn State Park. Laconia Motorcycle Week once a year. The Pumpkin Festival, which was canceled last year and the year before. And I don't know if they're going to have it uh, next year. We'll, we'll see. see. Um, Opeachy Park Cove and Opeachy Point Beach. Fun spot. Yes. Absolutely. The largest arcade in the world, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, it was at some point, but okay. I don't think now they, they still advertise it. Weir's Beach Drive-In Theater still works, still yes. functions. The go-kart track, which I, I beat you by one no. lap. No. Yes. You skidded out of the track and I, I passed you. That my car was rigged. It's just yeah. all skill. It's all skill. Okay. The Laconia paintball. Uh, well, that thing closed. Artscape. Well, no, it didn't close. The it just paintball. Seasonal. Oh, okay. It's seasonal. The Artscape, that's a fun place. Yes, Mount Washington Cruise. Of course, there's always a Mount Washington everywhere. The Rail Bike Adventures, which you mentioned in the previous video. That's right. Check our previous videos about uh, Laconia. And right? of course, uh, the Wimpasaki Scenic Railroad. Amazing. And there you have it, folks. We got to the end. The 14 things you need to know before moving to Laconia. Yes, if I didn't know this thing, I would not move to Laconia. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Okay. So if you are planning to buy or sell in the Lakes region, we are New Hampshire Realtors ready to help you with all your real estate needs. My name is Karina Sesteros, Associate Broker, and this is my son, Freddie, Realtor and Managing Partner of the Sesteros Realty Group. We live here, we work here, and we know real estate in the Lakes region. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below so you won't miss any of your future videos. So, come to New Hampshire. It's the perfect location to live, retire, and vacation. In New Hampshire, there's something for everyone. Until next time. Play Karina's song. Yeah, play my song. See you later. <laughs>